It all started last year at Yom Kippur. We uh, started a conversation with the high school boys, with Fenton and I, about possibly having a show for Yom Kippur. And there was no response. Now, at Yom Kippur, around two hours before Yom Kippur, one of the boys asks, like, so is this minion happening? So me and Rabbi Fenton basically just both wrote on, again, using WhatsApp. You know, if the minion happens, great. We're not arranging it at this point. But the power of the youth and the power of a teenager, they got the minion going. Um, they got the minion going in under an hour. We had everything. So that, we had a beautiful, beautiful minion last year, Yom Kippur. Um, over the year, it was, it, it, the idea floated about starting a show for them. Um, and they kept on bringing it up, but the one thing that they were set on stone on, set on stone is that next year there must be a minion for Rishon Yom Kippur. Parents kept on asking if we're going to start a shul. There was a rumor that we're going to start. We spoke about it happening, but it, it wasn't moving anywhere. The Friday morning of Shabbos Lichas, I was sharing with my students how much of Shabbos Lichas, how it works, what happens, and the middle school boys all start went on this thing. Okay, so let's have a minion. Let's make our own minion. Let's go to Shliach somewhere. Let's do it. And I was like, I was like, okay, if you know, if it works out, we'll do something. And at the end, I just ended up didn't work out. I texted the parents, sorry, it was a nice idea, but it's not going to happen. Moitzah um, Shabbos, the second Shabbos. I, well, right when I turn on my phone, the messages start coming in. Rabbi Jacobson Mendel wants to know if there's going to be a minion for Slichas tonight. Rabbi Jacobson Schneer wants to know if there's going to be a minion tonight. And I'm like, okay, I guess. So I wrote back. I said, if we have 10 boys, we're in. So in a couple of minutes, we had a few boys and a few parents from the middle school right away said that they'll participate. So the next thing I did was reach out to the high school group. And again, technology at its best. Five minutes later, we have our minion. And we did Matzah Shabbos Lichas. For some of these boys, it was the first time ever. And they loved it. And the reaction was like, are we doing Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur? So I was like, well, whatever. If you guys want to do Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, do Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Um, and then we did Rosh Hashanah. And the middle school boys came, the high school boys, some parents came. And then the Shabbos in between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. So sorry, so we decided we're doing Shabbos, we're doing Rosh Hashanah. The Friday night, the Friday before Rosh Hashanah, a boy goes, a middle school boy goes, so why don't we start the shul tonight and get it started? And I said, you know what? If you want to do it, arrange it. I'll be number 10. Because I'm not coming before I know you have nine. Um, the boy went around and started, I'm going to come to your house. I'm going to collect you. I'm going to get you. And he went from teacher to teacher to parent to teacher to student to every bar mitzvah boy to the high school boys. And he got the minion started. And we right away said, we're only doing this Friday night. Friday night happens, and the same, the high school boys and the middle school boy goes, we know we don't have a kiddush tomorrow because we don't, didn't plan this, but why don't we have a Shabbos day minion? And I'm like, and the, we're all like, we have our shuls that we go to already, we go to with, you know, Shabbos is the one day we don't see the students. And the boy is like, no, but Rabbi Jacob, so if we have a minion, will you come? I said, yeah, if you have a minion, I'll come. And again, this middle school and high school boys went around and they made sure that there was 10 people. And that is, the beginning and of the Lamplighter Shoal, driven by middle school and high school. Um, and that led into a beautiful sukkahs and some chastera, and since then every Friday night and Shabbos day and Mincha Mayriv, we have this minion, which is pretty powerful because boys that age, middle school, really close to bar mitzvah, high school boys to be going to Shoal, Mincha Mayriv, the end of Shabbos is impressive.